Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade, and yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishment the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. It's called Invictus. It was written in the 1800s, and um, it, it's a poem that you know talks about getting through hard times. And the, the last two lines are, of it are, "I am the master of my fate, I am the captain of my soul." And I, you know, I found myself in all my swims. I would, I would, um, you know, take my feet every 30 minutes, and I would, you know, put my head back in the water. I would recite the poem. I would just start swimming again, take a feed, recite the poem. And it just kind of, you know, I guess it used, it was kind of a, a frame of reference for me to, to understand that, you know, it's, I'm, I'm, it's up to me. I, I'm, the, I'm the, the one that's going to decide whether I'm going to do this or not. And when those dark moments come as, as they do, to say, you know, I'm really the captain of my soul here and I'm going to persevere through it. If you told Bob Burroughs' first swim instructor that one day Bob would be the 254th person to complete the triple crown of open water swimming, they would have laughed. Lore has it that I was afraid to swim, and when I was taught how to swim, I was crying in swimming lessons. Those first swimming memories came when Bob moved to Bend as a young boy at Juniper Park Pool. When I swam at Juniper Park, it was a 40-yard pool uh, and a nice pool, but not nearly as nice as it is today. After moving to Portland and swimming competitively in high school, Bob took a long break from swimming before he eventually found himself living in San Francisco. Got interested in swimming again, and in particular in, uh, San Fran in the Bay, and uh, doing the Alcatraz swim several times with some buddies that we kind of pushed each other. Work would eventually take him cross country to Boston, and it was there that the open water swim bug bit Bob big time. They have a very big, vibrant um, open water swimming community, and I, I did it once, I did it twice, I did it three times, and next thing you know, I fell in with a, a group of people that uh, uh, like to, to push each other and, and do crazy swims. And when you hang around people doing extraordinary things long enough, you start to formulate a few ideas of your own. I, I met a, a woman, a very accomplished open water swimmer in, um, in Boston, and she started talking about the swim she had done and the swim she was doing, and I started listening to it a bit more and a bit more, and I thought, well, I can do that. Bob made plans to swim the English Channel in 2017, the famous 21-mile channel that starts at the cliffs of Dover in England and finishes on the shore in France. You know, I guess one of the things that I, I learned in that swim is, is trying to um, keep yourself focused on the present. You know, you don't look back and see the White Cliffs of Dover. Don't look ahead and try to see France because you're only gonna, you know, kind of probably feel bad that you're farther away than you thought. So just really focus on the here and now. The plan was never the Triple Crown, but with the English Channel under Bob's Speedo belt, he began looking at what could be next. It wasn't a plan, it was like, one, I did it. Um, and then I, I guess as it's many things go, it was like, hmm, you know, what else can I do? For an encore, he settled on a nice little 28 and a half mile loop around Manhattan, known as 20 Bridges. And in July of 2019, Bob hopped in the East River and began the second leg of the triple. That was the, the second one I did and uh, it was great um, because it's, um, it's around New York and you see all the big buildings and the Statue of Liberty and it was quite exciting. With two of the three now under the old Speedo, there wasn't much choice in what would be next. I didn't really intend to do all three of these. I just kind of found myself doing them. And after I did New York, I kind of realized I'd boxed myself in to, to having to do the, the third and the final. Originally planned for 2020, the 21 mile Catalina Channel off the coast of Los Angeles would be postponed until 2021, thanks to COVID. You swim from Catalina Island back to the Palos Verdes Peninsula. One of the major differences this go around would be the swim would start at night and for the first eight hours would be in complete darkness. It's kind of surreal being in the water that long, that 
you know, for that many hours in the dark. So it was a, it was a new experience in a lot of different ways. During the mid-morning of September 1st, 2021, Bob Burrow made a wobbly walk up to dry land. He passed the water line and touched the cliff on the shore, becoming just the 254th person ever to complete the triple crown of open water swimming. I think what makes me most proud is it's, it's like in anything, if we all set goals and um, uh, have something to, to work towards in whatever you know, area of your life it may be, if you kind of stick with it and during the hard moments, you know, uh, you, you get through them. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. In Bend, Eric Lindstrom, Central Oregon Daily News.